Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tape transfer using packing tape. And then we're gonna use these tape transfers to make a thank you card, or of course you can make whatever card you want. I'm going to be using images today that I got from graphicstock.com. And one thing that I love about this is I can show you the images. I'm not worried about copyright issues. For some of the tutorials I do, I'm painting wolves, I'm painting these different animals and things that I don't really have access to, so I don't have my own photographs of them. Right now, graphicstock.com is having a deal. If you go to graphicstock.com slash holidays or click on the link in the description in the box below to get $50 off one year of graphic stock. And they have beautiful images of flowers, of animals, of landscapes. I was happy to team up with them for this tutorial. This is a really simple technique and it's one of my favorites. We're going to be using it to make a card, but you can use it to make artwork collages. I even like to put these up in my windows. And again, this is a packing tape transfer that we're using. Make sure you're using clear packing tape. The first thing you need to do is think of who you wanna make this card for. The second thing you need to do is find the images. On graphicstock.com, you can find a variety of images. And so I wanted this kind of woodsy theme. So I'll show you how to use these images alone and also how to make a collage with them together. Then I'll show you how to make a tape transfer of them and how to create the finished card. So you need paper, you need your images that you're going to use for the tape transfer. Make sure you print these out using a laser printer. An inkjet printer will not work for this technique. So find the images that you want, download them, and print them using a laser printer and you need packing tape, clear packing tape. And then these other supplies are optional. I'm going to be using a Pigma graphic pen to write thank you on these cards. We're going to be using water to remove the paper from the tape. And I'm just going to be using this rag to wipe off this table surface that I'm going to be using. You can do this in a sink, just make sure you don't let the water go down the sink or it will plug it. You can use these paper scraps that you're taking off to make a sculpture with. You can put it in a mold and it will actually form into whatever shape you put it in. It's like a pulp, I guess you could call it. Some optional supplies are watercolors to use for your background, pens, pencils, markers, anything you wanna put under it. I forgot to mention scissors. All right, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is place your packing tape over the image. And I would overlap the packing tape a little bit so that it keeps the image together. Try not to let the tape bend or wrinkle. The second thing you wanna do is wash the paper away from the packing tape, get it wet first, and then slowly slowly rub the paper off and you can use that paper to make another sculpture or you can throw that paper away. Normally I do this in the sink, but when I've done this in a classroom, we just had to use bowls. So just trying to get it wet, we're trying to get that paper weak so that we can peel it off. The third thing you wanna do is create your card. Do you want to create a watercolor background? Do you want to just write thank you behind it? Do you wanna write a little note that is hidden? Do you want just a simple background? After you create your background, you can either write something on it or paint it. You're ready to place your tape transfer over it. Usually there's enough stickiness in the tape that it'll just stick to the card on its own. But if you need to, you can add glue underneath the tape. You could also use a little bit of extra packing tape around the edges to keep it in place. You can also do the same technique where you make a collage first, then do the tape transfer over the top of your collage. The collage is one of my favorites because it works so well with this technique. So you could even use one of these backgrounds and put pictures of you or the person you're making this card for on it. And then you're finished. Go give that card to somebody and make their day. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And again, I wanna say thank you so much for those of you that have supported this channel. I really appreciate your support. It's very motivating for me. And I hope you enjoy this holiday season. Have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.